friends today through this video we will learn how to do connection of three wire sensor like here you can see i have two sensor one sensor is proximity sensor and second one is photoelectric sensor and by using these sensor we will learn how to do connection whenever you go for connection of any sensor then you have to remember some points first thing you have to be careful about is sensor we have what is the operating voltage of this like here you can see this sensor here on this sensor it is written voltage and in front of this it is written 5 to 40 volt and one more thing is dc it means to operate this sensor we can connect 5 to 40 volt but power supply here must be dc power supply same operating voltage is there for this sensor also with this also we have to connect 5 to 40 volt dc power supply now after this we have to see in this sensor there are wires how many wires are there to provide power supply to sensor as you can see here we have two different types of sensor but in these you will get three wires in some sensor you will get two wires in some of the sensor you will get four wires also but through this video we are going to learn connection of three wire sensor only now here you can notice one more thing that these sensor we have wires of this sensor here have same color coding that is here we can see blue brown and black color wires so wires of sensor have a color coding with this brown wire we have to connect positive power supply after this with blue wire we have to connect negative power supply after this output power supply you will get you will get through black wire output signal we get in this we also have to identify that it is a positive signal or negative signal to identify this you can use a multimeter here or either on this sensor it is written as you can see here on this sensor on this sensor it is written npn similarly on this sensor also it is written npn this means that this sensor here from this sensor output signal we get will be of negative type if here is npn then we will get negative signal and if pnp is written here then in this condition we will get positive power supply now the sensor here how to do connection of this sensor let's understand this also as i told you this sensor i have to operate this sensor we have to provide dc power supply for dc power supply i used a smps here now what we have to do this sensor here take brown wire of this sensor and the power source we have with positive power supply here we will get positive power supply so with this i am connecting this brown wire after this in this blue wire we have to provide negative power supply so connect this with negative power supply so to operate this sensor i connected the power supply with this now output signal we will get we have to connect this with either plc or to turn on and off any relay it is used so i am using this relay here now what we have to do in this relay there is a coil terminals of the coil are 13 and 14 number so what we have to do with 13 number terminal we have to connect positive power supply so i am using a wire here and i am connecting this wire with this relay that is with 13 number terminal i am connecting this wire as i told you this sensor i have output signal we get from this is of negative type if i use pnp sensor here then i will get positive power supply here but here i am using sensor of npn type so we will get negative power supply here here what we will do with this output signal i am connecting a wire after this take other end of wire and in this relay with negative terminal connect this wire so here connection is now completed how connection was done let us understand once again look if your sensor is of npn type then in this condition what you have to do with the relay connect positive power supply directly after this negative power supply which will be given to this relay is from black wire that is from output signal of sensor supply will be given to relay and if you are using sensor of pnp type then in this condition what you have to do to the relay you have provide negative power supply to relay directly and positive power supply which will be given to this relay will be given from output signal of sensor now i am turning on the power supply after turning on in front of the sensor i will bring a metal object so that sensor can sense it and generate output command so in front of sensor i am bringing this tester you can see this relay here it is turned on one indication is glowing here it means this is on 
if I remove tester from here then you can see this relay is turned off. Here I am connecting a lamp so that when this relay turn on this lamp will also turn on. Now in front of the sensor when a target comes then suddenly a signal will generate and our load will turn on instantly. Similarly when a target is removed from here then in this condition load will turn off. Let us see once again. When this sensor sends an object instantly load will turn on and after removing the target from sensing area load will turn off. Friends if you want to know how to do connection of solid state relay with sensor then click on the right hand side video to watch. Friends if you like this video then please do like share and comment on this video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.